everyone, Jess Martin here again, and welcome to day four of Your Questions Answered. Barb asks, I have retrained my start line in the past six months to a down, and it was going okay. Over the last few months at trial, she is arguing more before she will down. Once she is down, she usually stays. Help, I need a faster down in trials that sticks. She is much better when I have treats. Hi, Barb. This is often an overlooked piece of the dreaded start line puzzle. Most of us, we have trouble either with the stay piece of the start line or getting our dogs into position when they're excited. Again, if you don't have food or a toy to help the dog get into these positions, this can be a really frustrating problem. I've had this issue with both my Sheltie Dice and my Border Collie. Both dogs in high environments have a trouble actually getting into the position. They stay easier once I get them there, but the question is how do I get my dog into that position in a much easier manner? The key here is to have the dog not think about it. We want them to go into that autopilot mode where by the time that we want them into the sit, they're already there. We don't have to worry about trying to convince them. I always compare this to fighting the dog before you go in. If you're already fighting to get the dog into a start line position, then you started your agility run off with a battle. If you're fighting them at the start, you're likely going to fight them for a run. So set yourself up for success. If we can get the dog on the same page working with us as a team before we even start the round, we're much more likely to have that success and not feel nearly as frustrated. So my suggestion here would to be create a series of games that gets the dog into position. For me, again, I like to use a spinning behavior because with my dogs, it's something that we both find enjoyable. The nice thing about this for any dog that stares forward in the agility course, my Border Collie um, likes to do this, he locks on the first jump, and then it's like, you know, he's deaf to the world. Um, I can't get him to do much of anything because he's just locked on. The spinning breaks the eye contact. Okay? For a dog like Dice, it creates a little bit more excitement, but it also uh, makes sure that she's not, again, staring off into nothing. So because of that, what I do is I get my dogs to spin, and then I ask them for a sit. Now you can use any behavior you want here. You don't have to use a spin. It's just one of the ones that I like to do because it's so simple to teach. Get the behaviors first, get the tricks first, and then immediately go into the sit behavior or the down or whatever it happens to be. You're using a down, so the idea is to get a behavior first, then try to go into the down position. If you come in, take the leash off or carry the dog in and immediately try to get them into that sit behavior or the sit or a down, what ends up happening is a dog is too high. They're not on that same page with you. They're not working with you. And that can lead to a lot of frustration in the beginning. Okay, so the big thing is there, just create a game that gets the dog into position. When you're watching them do this, it should seem like they're in that position before they even think about it. I know when I'm doing this with my Border Collie, and again, he's kind of the extreme on this, is that you can see him just completely zone into the first jump and not look at anything else. He won't even glance at me, his ears won't even twitch. He's just completely locked in where he's going. You tell him to sit and it's like he's in hydraulics, just slow motion down. With Dice, she just looks away and pretends like she can't hear me. So if you can get them into the position by getting those tricks first, right? Spin, 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 sit. He goes into position without even knowing how he got there. It's so automatic. So practice it outside the ring. Practice it just building up those behaviors into your down position since you're using a down. And then try that. So when you go in, you're always getting that routine, that routine of the behaviors, then the sit or the down. And that will create a lot easier time getting your dog into position. The great thing about this is it typically doesn't take very long before you can start getting that success that you're looking for. I hope this helps. From Agile Dog Training, this is Jess Martin. Stay tuned tomorrow where I'm answering another one of your questions. Happy training.